Um, the time has come for you to lip sync for your life, life, life. I got my Apple Watch, finally. I've been wanting it for so long. I wanted it a few months ago. And then, oops, that's backwards. Thumbnail. Um, I wanted it a few months ago, but I go through these like moments where I want something really bad just because someone else has it. But like I've learned to not make impulse purchase like impulse purchases because I just never stick to it. Like I, I literally buy it, I use it once and then I never see it again. So I've wasted hundreds and hundreds of dollars like that throughout my life. So now I'm very now I'm very cautious. Like if I want something, I notice like a few weeks or like a month later it'll die down, like the urge to want it. But then if it comes back again, then I'm like, yo, let me just get it because clearly I want it. If I wanted it a few months ago and I, it died down and then now the urge is back, then let me just treat myself. And I'm just so happy. Like, to be honest, Apple Watches, they never like interested me whatsoever because I was just like, bro, I don't need a watch. Like. I have, like, I have like a Casio watch that I wore like twice and never wore it again. So I was like, I'm not consistent with rings or bracelets. Like I do this because my Moldavite has been like, my yo, my manifestations, they're all just coming to life. Let's just say that. And I'm making silent moves as everybody on Instagram says, which is so fucking cringy. Like how, if it's silent, then let it be silent. But there's just a lot of good happening to me right now. Like all my manifestations and my dreams and my goals. And that's why like I'm I'm doubling up on the evil eyes because yo, people, pe the ones that say that love you are really the ones that hate you and are out to get you. And that's so true. And I've never realized that until now, like personal experience that people just be watching your shit and from afar and they just hate from afar. And, like, people you think, like, love you and got your back, but really, like, they don't congratulate you or say anything. Like, mm-mm. It's not cute. Oh, what was I saying? So, yeah, I'm not consistent with rings or bracelets because of my eczema. But, you know, this is necessary. But then, um, the reason I wanted this is because it all started, like, when I'm, like, a fashion intern in the city. And I'm always, like carrying shit and i wish i could just like see my time so like i don't miss my train i'm like i run on time like i need to be here at this time i need to be on this train at this time so i wish i can just have the the time on my hand and also and you're probably thinking like bitch just get a regular watch but um no also my phone like when i'm i'm carrying a bunch of shit or like my phone is in my pocket i have the iphone 12 pro max 256 gig um and that shit is like a brick so having to take that out it's yo it's so first world problems having to take my phone out out of my pocket to see the time is so inconvenient and i know it's so like ew but trust me it's it's mad inconvenient um but also like if i get a phone call or a mess like a notification like a text an email or something and i'm like bro do i really have to take my phone out like it, it really like it's really annoying like when you're when you're rushing somewhere or something and like your phone dings and you're like fuck like what could that be could that be an email like it could be a million things and i'm really not trying to pull my phone out because i'm carrying like a bunch of bags right now where i'm running somewhere so i was like bro i wish i could just see everything like the time my calls my texts my emails notifications on my wrist so like no matter what i'm holding what i'm doing where i'm running it'll literally be here and it'll save me like so much headache it sounds so ridiculous i know but like let me rock so i went to the apple store and i basically finessed my whole family um because I'm not trying to favor this shit myself. <laughs> I have some hard-working family members. And that's what they work for. Like, what else do you work for? Like, wh why do you... Why should you pay rent or grocery shop when you could just spoil me? Ice me out. Oh, we're not there yet. I'm going to ice myself out. I can't wait for that life. It's coming soon, though. That Moldavite. 
anyways before we get into the unboxing yo i'm so excited this lighting is probably ass but whatever um, i want to film more because i miss the old youtube w we'll get into that anyway yo these tangents i should i need a podcast because of all the fucking tangents i want so first the churros from cinnabon you know maybe him next I'm not a Bath and Body Works person because I don't got Bath and Body Works money. Like, <laughs> I spoiled myself today. Like, I, the thought of buying a $25 candle literally kills me considering I could fill my tank of gas with like $35 now because of inflation. Um, but I was like, I was walking through the mall because like obviously I had to go to the Apple store to get my watch. And then I see the Bath and Body Works and it was like the candles are $10. And I think that's a big deal because, yo, Bath and Body Works, they got some stands because there was a line not only out the store, but literally in a different portion of the mall because the line gets so ridiculous that it blocks the entrances to other mall to other stores so there ha there has to be a separate line in a different part of the mall and it, like employees communicate like on walkie talkies like okay one person can come from one line to the other it was literally ridiculous so i was like bro let me see what the hype is all about um when i was in middle school best believe i was buying my my hand sanitizers the five for five now it's five for eight so fuck that um but yo, I was lit with my hand sanitizers. I was like, smells so good. I really thought I ate. I was like, bruh, nobody, like, don't talk to me. Like, yeah, like, I had my, my Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers and I thought I was like, yo. Um, anyways, so it was like the, the candles are, were $10. It was like, uh, all three wick candles are $10 and I'm, they're usually 25, I think, 25, 50. My my TJ Maxx and my Marshalls people know that these you could buy bigger ones for seven dollars, but I was like, bro, let me just go. And then a lot of them smelled like shit. <laughs> Hashtag ad. It smells like shit. No, like a lot of them. A lot of the Christmas ones were just like. And I'm someone who's very sensitive with smells. Like I can't like all the ones that smell like cupcake and vanilla. I'd be like. Mm -hmm. Like that shit was so bad. And the ones that smell like pine, no. Or like musk or anything that's like musk or like teak wood or like wood, brass, that shit. And it smells like so strong, I can't. But then I was like, you know what? Let me smell them all. And this was cinnamon spiced vanilla. I love how this is like an Apple Watch unboxing and try on, but it's literally a haul first. This is going to be a long ass video, but I miss the old YouTube where these 40 minute vlogs, I'm tired of fucking 30 second TikToks, bring back the 40 minute vlog miss videos. You heard it here first. This is the Bath and Body Works Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. So I had already gone through like 30 candles that all smelled like shit and I was like, bro, like the gingerbread one, red velvet cupcake, it was all nasty. And I was like, what are the odds that this one, Cinnamon Spice Vanilla, is gonna smell good because vanilla doesn't the vanilla candles don't hit but <laughs> yo this i smelled this <sighs> wow like literally christmas and chill started like the whole ep just ran through my head anyways and i was like since i have this that's like very sweet it's sweet but it's not like nauseating that like you want to kill yourself when you smell it it's like, it's like nice, like very refreshing. Um, and this is the winter candy apple. I wanted something that was like not so sweet and in your face and a little something more fresh. So I love me like some, like, I just love how apples smell. Um, and the winter candy apple. <sighs> Yo, people know, like, no wonder they love these candles because... <sighs> really good so i got two of those that was 20 dollars oh and then i went to target uh i love hauls i went to target for these like plastic storage bins because i'm like organizing my closet and then i was in the i went to go look for my aunt in the woman's section and then i saw these and i was like 
Like, are you kidding? Like, these really ate. And they were $10. Oh my god, you can see me. They were $10. Like, if I saw these, if, like, I saw someone wearing these and they were like, oh, I got these at Essence, I'd be like, oh, like, I'd believe you. So, there's eight. All right, now to the good part. Oh, I'm so happy. <clears throat> I love how you're not even going to see what I'm doing. This is an I Justine production. I love I Justine. I can't wait to meet her and do videos with her. I know we're going to be best friends. Yo, I've been watching I Justine for like 15 years. All right. And you're probably wondering if you're an Apple fan, um, why wasn't it like sealed like with the, with the saran wrap packaging? And that's because they had to build it in the back. That was the girl's terminology. But basically I got the loop. I don't know what it's called. Oh, wait, actually, this is the solo loop. So it's a the fitted like silic is it silicone yeah it's a, the silicone band but it doesn't have the adjuster so this you just slip it on your wrist and slip it off and you don't need the adjuster and she measured my wrist and this is way better than the adjustable one because literally you don't have to waste time trying to like you don't have to waste time trying to adjust it and stuff because and plus with the adjuster it, it makes the watch so bulky and like so heavy and even though they're both silicone, this is way thinner and way lighter than the one with the adjustable thing. Like, trust me, you need the solo loop. Hashtag ad. Tim Cook is like, hey, baby, you want that solo loop? <laughs> um, okay, so basically, what was I even saying? Oh, so the reason it, it wasn't saran wrapped was because um, they had to, so the watches come with, either like the velcro one or the fitted uh loop sport solo loop the the fitted loop the watches come with either oh not the white refrigerator in the back all right so the watches come with either um the one with the adjustable like the sport loop or um they come with the velcro one but the worker really put me on. She was like, you need to try this one instead. And that's why um, they have to sell you just the piece and this in the box. So that's why it doesn't come wrapped because the wrapped ones only come with like this adjustable one or the Velcro one. So she had to clear that up for me. I'm a size eight if anyone was wondering. The seven was like a little too claustrophobic and the nine was too loose so i went with the seven i mean with the eight and i got the apple watch this is the se this i guess i mean special edition in like the silver aluminum i didn't want to get like the series i don't even know if they sell the five or the six no i think they just sell the seven now like they they either discontinued the rest or i don't i don't know what exactly the issue is because they still they still have series three and not like four, five, and six. So I don't know how that works. But I got the SE because literally the only difference between the SE and the seven or whatever is that it doesn't have a blood monitor, like a oxygen level. And that shit was like 400, like, no, I'm, I'm gassing it. That shit was like $300 more or three to $200 more for the, for the iPhone, for the Apple Watch 7. Um, I don't need to measure my blood oxygen, personally. I don't care about that. It also has a compass in it, which I don't need a compass. I've never used one before. And, oh, the always on display. Like, so you don't have to go like this for the screen to turn on and you don't have to tap it to, to see the time. The, the display is always on, so it's always showing the time. And I don't care about none of that. Like, those three features weren't worth, like, $300 more by... Uh, I love yo the thing about Apple is like it's an ex like it's an experience like the store um and like the packaging um, like everything is just so like beautifully done and like engineered like they really know what they're doing
people who hate on apple like if you're a hater just say that because apple's like always killing the game <laughs> i'm happy as well. designed by apple in california okay we have the charger and then we have miss i'm literally gonna order a screen protector from amazon like right now um because i'm really not trying to um fuck this up so it comes like this oh look there's me oops i did not do that properly what okay damn wow very nice oh i'm so happy um yeah and i got if you were wondering i got it in what's the color starlight so they i was gonna get white but they didn't have white and this was like the closest this was the lightest color they had um and starlight i actually prefer it to white because it's like it almost reads gray like it's off white so i just think it looks it looks fresh so Mm. I love me a good Apple product. The last Apple product I got was my AirPods for Christmas two years ago. I finessed my mom for that. Oh, I love finessing family members. Anyways. Mm. Ta-da! <clears throat> and I'm not going to activate it on camera because I need my phone to activate it. But maybe, maybe I can do a, um, and this is what it looks like. This is size eight. Wait, is it? Is that, I just bit the fuck out of my tongue. Yeah, size eight. Maybe I'll do an update, like, I'll show you guys in the end. Ooh. Oh, I forgot to smell. I don't know. I just seen always smells the stuff, and I'm like, girl, what the fuck are you doing? Mm, okay. Does it matter which side clicks where? I don't think so. Okay, wait. Let's hear the first click. Oh, oh my god. Okay, first click. Oh, look, it turned on. And then the second click. bling 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 bitches is mad bling 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 uh and then you just literally with this you just put it on oh my god and the fit the fit is just like ridiculous it's perfect like oh mm -hmm. damn I really ate. I need a screen protector because yo. Sorry, I'm just doing Apple Watch things. Okay, this is me cutting in because I was re-watching the video and I noticed that I didn't mention a very crucial part of my buying experience. So literally I went in when I say I'm so happy I went in the store rather than buying online, you have no idea. Because if I didn't go in person, I wouldn't have found out that the solo loop is way better than the adjuster. Like, it's way less bulky. It's really just incredible. Also, um, in the store, the woman, I went in knowing exactly what I wanted. I was like, I want an Apple Watch SE, the aluminum silver, the biggest one, the 44 mill millimeter, milliliter, I don't know. I'm a business student. I don't know shit. Um, thanks, Quizlet. Um, wh what was I saying? Oh, and I wanted GPS and cellular. I was like, this is what I want. Just go get it from the back. I'll swipe my card and I'll leave. Because I, I had researched it for like weeks. Because I like obsess over shit before I commit to a purchase. And she was like, she explained to me, like, she was like, are you sure you want GPS and cellular? And I'm like, duh. Like, I wanted to call and to text. And she, this Apple employee, 
Tim Cook needs to fly her out <laughs> and like have her at the next keynote or something like take her to Bora Bora for a week because this Apple employee is was literally heaven sent like she came when I say she came through she came through she said you don't need the cellular version to call and text and I was like what I was like she literally rocked my world because like I was obsessively like researching everything before I like committed to the purchase. And I swore, I was like, I'm gonna walk in. I know what I want and I'm walking out. Like I was so ready. And she really just hit me with those facts that I just wasn't ready for. And she was like, yeah, the only reason, the only thing that the GPS and cellular version does, you're probably wondering why the fuck I'm telling you this. This is just to help you out. Um, in case you ever wanted an Apple Watch. The only reason a GPS slash cell, uh, um, sorry, a cell, a GPS and cellular difference of the Apple Watch is, the only difference is that it doubles as a phone. Meaning you can leave your phone at home and take your Apple Watch with you and you can still call and text because it's basically your second phone. So the, you can leave your phone in the car, leave, have your watch, Leave your phone at home. Your phone can die and the watch will work, at, will still work calling and texting, right? So it's basically a double phone. And she asks me an important question. She goes, how often is your phone not with you? And I was like, never. My phone is always with me. Like, like duh. Like, you know, you can't just not have your phone on you. Like, this is like a crucial part of life. <laughs> And I was like, my phone is never not on me. And she's like, how often does your phone die? And I was like, never, because I got the 12 Pro Max 256D. <laughs> and I was like, my phone never dies. Like I got my phone in July and my phone's died, like died on me once. And that's because I was watching YouTube for like 12 hours. And I was like, my phone's died on me once. Like the battery life on the 12 Pro Max 256 gig is literally incredible. So she was like, if your phone is always on you and your phone is never dead, she's like, then why would you get the cellular? And then when I realized what this woman was conjuring, I was like, yo, I'm just gonna get the GPS version because my phone's never dead and it's always on me. And I don't need the cellular version. Um, so she just saved me like $50. Like I was ready to drop like $400 of that wasn't my money. I scammed my family. Um, but she really, she literally brought it down to like $50, the difference. And I was like, yo, like she really came through. Also, a very important thing she mentioned, the GPS and cellular watch is, there's a, there's a additional price added to your monthly uh, telephone bill because it's technically a second phone so if the phone is dead and you're using the watch to call and text that's another line that you're using and she said it's about ten dollars added to your existing phone bill to have the cellular watch and I was like so I'm gonna spend fifty dollars more and over time spend mad money on the phone the extra phone bill fee for a feature that I'm not even going to need. And I was like, I don't need it. And um, yeah, so she literally rocked my world. And she gave me all the tea. Like she was very blunt and honest. She was like, this is how much this costs. I mean, obviously they have to tell you. But she was like, she's like, she asked me questions and was like, if you're not going to use it, then don't get it. Like she was very like honest with me. She's like, I didn't get that shit because I wasn't going to use it. And I was like, damn, like. She was like really real, but she was like, my boyfriend's a truck driver and his phone is always dead. So his watch always comes through. I don't know. She was very helpful and she was very patient with me with like the sizing. She was literally the best. So shout out to you. Um, yeah, go back to the video. Bye. So yeah, what can I say? What can I say? I'm an accomplished business. Oh, Siri's like, hey, I want to hang out. Anyways, thank
thanks for watching if you made it this long i know i i love to ramble i love to go on tangents i really should um do a podcast um but yeah i had so much fun i'm so happy and i'm so excited with my purchase and hopefully i do more videos i miss filming i f miss talking i mean i really don't have no one to talk to so i might as well just talk to a camera because i know someone will watch and oh as i was saying before like i just miss the old youtube like tiktok and like reels and stuff i feel like if you're not entertaining like in like the first three seconds and like people just scroll past like no one like really like i feel like listens anymore like everybody just expects like comedy 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 um but i miss the old youtube like i'm an og youtube person um like i miss like the hall like the target halls like the mukbangs like i just want to like i've just fallen down a ra rabbit hole of like old youtubers that like just like grocery shop and like do a haul and cook and just talk about like their day and their life like i miss that connection where like you see someone just talking like no editing like no crazy f shit like someone just talking to a camera like you know like the og youtube style and i i really miss that because like that's like part of the generation like when like i started like watching youtube and i miss it like I could just watch hours of people just grocery shop and like tell me what they got at Target and Bath and Body Works. So I want to do that more. I feel like TikTok and YouTube is a lot of pressure. It's like you better be funny or if you don't have an amazing new restaurant or cool place to show then you're just like not interesting. And plus like the whole algorithm with like TikTok is really like puts a lot of pressure. Like, uh, I've heard people say, like, you have to post three TikToks a day in order, like, to get on a For You page or something, which is just, like, ridiculous because then it's, like, okay, I need to make three and, like, you use Spiral because, like, if you don't reach three, then it's just a lot. Like, I really just want to vlog. I really just want to talk because, like, me, I could talk forever. I could talk for days. Like, every teacher I've ever had hated me because all I did all day was talk. It's all I did. It's all I want to do is talk, 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 talk. So yeah, I miss like the old rambling YouTube videos. No crazy effects, none of that. Just this is what I got at Target. And that's kind of like the style like I want to get into. I definitely want to like do YouTube more and like film more and actually like do it because I'm f I feel like I'm in an era in my life where I'm actually doing the things I'm saying I'm doing and YouTube is just like one of those things I've always wanted to do because like I've always loved watching like YouTubers and videos and I've always wanted to do that and make content as well I don't know but sometimes I just like I'm like why would anybody like want to watch me but like if other YouTubers thought like that then we wouldn't have like YouTube content to watch so I don't know, hopefully someone cares and watches and is watching and is entertained somehow by this. I love boring shit. Like I'm a boring, uh, I just love like watching, like bo like something that will be boring to some to someone else is like so interesting to me. Like, bruh, show me like, I was gonna say something really inappropriate. I was gonna be like, damn, show me like your tampon collection or your pad haul like vlogmas whatever tampon vlogmas anyways but it was good seeing you it's been so long since i made a youtube video i just have to get in the habit of like turning the camera on because like i do shit and the thing you know what? i'm actually like i have mental issues because i talk to myself as if i was filming a youtube video with no camera like wh when I do my skincare every morning, like I talk as if like I'm in a Vogue video, like good morning Vogue. And it's literally just me. So it's like kind of like weird and sad, but it's kind of like manifesting if you think about it, because I'm saying like, hi Vogue, you know, and then eventually it will be like Vogue. Um, But now I just have to get into the habit of turning the camera on because like, the person talking by themselves is already here. It's already in the equation. Now we just need a camera. Um, I hope to see you guys soon.
I hope you like this video and yeah. Bye!